Eastern cultures are more about community, about a holistic sense of what the world is like, what we as humans are part of, as opposed to the Western way, which is much more about the individual. And the Western way around the individual has put a lot of responsibility weight on us as people and has empowered us. Having been so empowered, two things have happened. One, we sort of have a responsibility to each other to develop ideas, science, uh, to become better. But we also think we are the masters. And if you think of a more Eastern way of thinking, well, our powers are limited. The whole is bigger than us. So this will potentially limit our ambitions, but set our expectations. And these are very different ways of thinking about the world, thinking of us as humans. I think they both very valuable. We see what we've done as humans. We've seen that as humans, we affect each other. We affect now uh, our planet and potentially beyond. But we also see what we can't do. And that's going to be a source of ambition, but also frustration. A more Eastern way of thinking, which is about harmony, equilibrium, cycles, may put things into perspective where our ambition and our frustration will be checked to some extent. And the question is not which is better. I think they both have value. The question is, can one help the other? I think that there's potential to learn from one and the other.